Okay, so I finally got out to check out Peabot's new advisory bike lanes. The first one I wanna show you is on Northeast 53rd over I-84 between Hoyt and Irving. As you can see in the before state, all there used to be was a Shero. Now that's been ground down and they've replaced it with these sort of bike lanes. They are, as you can see, broken striping. So skip striping, I'm not sure the technical term, but the idea is that drivers now are give sort of have the green light to encroach into the bike lane if they need the space. Peabot uses this treatment when they don't feel there's enough width to provide dedicated bike facilities and room for drivers in both directions. It's relatively rare in Portland, but um, these are probably the two most bold examples, if you will. So as you can see from these clips, uh, drivers are, uh, when I was out there at least, they are obeying and figuring it out as they go. This is a good clip that shows what happens when two cars are coming side by side. So that's what the one on 53rd looks like. Here's the one on 43rd between Tillamook and Sandy. This location uh, used to not have anything except for very narrow bike lanes striped in the door zone. Here's what it looks like now. They've just widened it a bit and uh, broken the striping up. This, unlike 43rd, uh, here on 53rd is much busier. There's a Whole Foods over on the corner of Sandy and 53rd. Uh, there's a bank or something else, lots of destinations, uh, very high parking turnover on both sides. And it's uh, like 43rd is also, it's, this is a uh, important and well-used bike route that connects folks to the uh, famous neighborhood Greenway on Tillamook. So it seemed to be working pretty well despite the sort of hustle and bustle uh, context of the street. Bikers didn't seem to be stressed out much at all, and drivers seem to sort of get the picture. As you can see, uh, drivers know they can encroach into the bike lane, and uh, when there's no one coming at them, the drivers are good about staying in the center of the lane. Once I got on it myself, I didn't have any problems. Uh, I think the skip striping might help in a weird way by encouraging bike riders to not ride into the door zone and letting them know that maybe they can leave the bike lane. And if you look closely down at the ground, you can see the old bike lane. So the new one is definitely a bit wider. When I was out there, drivers seemed to give me plenty of room. I didn't have any real close passes, although it is a very busy spot. So uh, I, you would expect a little more stress than on the one on 43rd. Um, uh, the city's also put bike boxes to transition onto Sandy, which is really nice. So that's how it looks. Uh, hope you enjoyed this closer look. If you've ridden these, I'd love to hear your impressions in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.